Bakersfield, the winner of the inaugural street and hobby stocks championship. We struggled all day in practice and then uh, the main event, we hit it. It was good, I guess. Just gotta be easy on the throttles, way too loose. Doing it ain't wet and wet right in the middle and just had to be easy on it. 16 cars in the in the main event. How does that compare with the typical fields you see back home in Bakersfield? Uh, Bakersfield would get uh, 25 to 35 on a weekly show. Yeah. Now I don't know if you're familiar, aware of this, Mike. Obviously, you're part of history now. The first main event winner here that would never change. They'll have to come after Michael Johnson. But we're trying to get a racetrack built. I'm just curious. You're you're I mean, certainly it was fun to watch. What, what was it like for the drivers in that uh, speed stock main event? It was tight, way too tight. Uh, they need to make it bigger, not longer, I'm just saying, but wider. Wider? Yeah, wider. Uh, and put some bank in it. You gotta make it two grooves. The way it is right now, flat, it's gonna be one groove on the bottom. And they're struggling with the water, they gotta bring some play in. Other than that, I mean, it was pretty fun. Yeah, very good. Well, thanks, we appreciate your time, and we will see you, hopefully, we'll see you back here to win the first real full time event. We get a real life play track. Yeah, we'll have to see what's going on. So, that's not my car. It's just a model car. I got a modified sitting at home. So. That's beautiful. Well, but best of luck. Back. Thanks for the visit. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is the final event of the first day of uh, Stock Car Racing, the inaugural Stock Car Racing program in Thunder on the Lot 17. Or for you Super Bowl fans, in case we don't get a season, Thunder on Lot XVII. Put those Roman numerals in there. But it's important tomorrow, Sunday, uh, June 12th, will be the open wheel cars. So there'll be dirt modifieds and also sprint cars will be out here. Oren Prosser, who is the winningest driver ever at Saugus Speedway, is going to be out here in a sprint car. A lot of exciting things going on. The good thing about this is we want a racetrack in the Animal Valley Fairgrounds. And he began his career in 1979 at Redmond Grandstand, way on the east side of town at Avenue, the original Animal Valley Fairgrounds site. To this day, Ron Hornaday Jr. says that's the biggest thrill of his racing career. Last night, Friday night, June 10th, almost as a salute to this attempt to build a new Redmond Grandstand for somebody else, Ron Hornaday Jr. won the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race in Texas. He's always looking out for his hometown, and we're trying to take it to the next step. So we invite you to come out on Sunday, fun on lot 17, more stock car racing, and another chance for us to say how much we would support a stock car facility, a full-time racing facility here in the beautiful Antelope Valley Fairgrounds.